Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 and the season that nobody likes to play in. Yet here we are because there is a very, very cool car in the festival playlist. Probably one of, if not my favorite, Aston Martin. The Aston Martin DVS Super Legera. It is an absolute powerhouse. However, I'm going to tell you when we unlock it, why I don't really like it. Anyways, to unlock the brand new uh, Aston Martin, we need to reach 50% completion in our winter season. Pretty standard, straightforward stuff. Um, next week, just a heads up, I will be in Gamescom, so the Aston Martin Vanquish, we will be unlocking it. But just a couple days later, I'll be doing it on Saturday instead of Thursday, just a heads up. A lot of people are also yelling at me saying, check the Forzathon shop. I have no idea what's included. Hopefully it's a good week. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a good week. I was right. I have a thousand six hundred Forzathon points and nothing to spend them on. Anyways, before we do get into this, boys, I just wanted to give you all a little heads up. The new AR-12 raid merch is officially selling out super, super quickly. 50% is sold out already. If you want your merch, go get it down below. We've got these awesome hoodies or like I'm wearing today, the t-shirt. Anyways, let's go unlock the Aston Martin DBS. We need 25 more percent to go. It's gonna say we've completed it in three, two, one, done. Well, that didn't work. Three, two, one, four, two, done, completed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So this is actually, I guess, the first 2019 Aston Martin that we've actually got in this game. It's, uh, it's pretty quick. I don't know why Aston Martin suddenly was like, you know what? We're gonna stop screwing around with cars. We're gonna build one that's fast, 715 horsepower, 660 foot-pounds of torque. It does say super leger in the name, which means lightweight. It weighs 4,000 pounds, I'm just saying, kind of heavy. Anyways, I will show you my favorite part of this car and why it's so damn cool. You know how James May gets the fizz? Oh, I get a big fizz. All right, so you see these things on the, on the, on the wheel? If you open up the hood, those black vents... Those are actual arrow. I don't know why, just those, having those, and knowing that they're legit is so sick. Like, look at them! Got a little carbon fiber rear wing. That looks awesome with those little vents in there. Oh. That is the good of the Aston Martin DBS Super Legera. I'm gonna tell you why I don't like the Aston Martin Super Legera. Let's, um, let's go straight to a race because I don't want to drive this around in winter, and the only way to get away from that is, uh, is a, is a race. So, uh, let's do one of them. Hardest difficulty, I would imagine we're gonna be against the usual crew of Ford Focuses and others. So let's give it a go. What engine is this using in the game? What's this engine sound from? That's a pretty good sounding engine. It also gets a nice amount of slide the car but isn't undrivable. That ain't bad. This thing's using a Mercedes engine. Oh, true, true, true. Cause this thing's like part Mercedes now. The interior of this is just so nice. Hey, Aston Martin, you finally figured out which way to make your dials go. Back in the day, you see your, uh, you see your speed down at the bottom? In Aston Martins, like in the past, they used to go right to left. They used to go the wrong way because Aston Martin wanted to be different and hit. Luckily, they figured out that that was a little gimmicky. All right, here we go. Send it. AI, get out of the way. Send it. Very good. I'm just saying, I wish this car was dropped in the summer because I would love to go free roaming with it. Also, as it turns out, we're getting the old usual Forza AI that cheats. Okay, gotta get past, gotta get past, gotta get past. Yo, there's 10% left in this race. I'm in ninth place. This ain't good. Okay, we gotta go full send. Full send. That kind of worked. Keep the full send. Yeah. Yo, full send in the final percent? That ain't bad, yo. That is a really, really good car. It gets the right amount of slide. 700 horsepower. Totally manageable. I mean, it's not a race car. The problem with the Aston Martin DBS Super Legera is that... Although it's not a race car, it's designed to be a race car. They give it the big open mouth grill, 
to let it suck more air in. It's got the active arrow. Or it's got arrow over the wheels to cool them down and everything like I was showing off before. Price in the game, 250k. You've got 700 horsepower, blah, 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 blah. Wouldn't you just prefer like a proper race car? A 720S? I mean, in terms of the game, it says 340k. In real life, they're about the same price. Don't worry about that. So we still got this big V12. We can swap in a 7 liter V12. I don't know what that's from with 820 horsepower. Is that the Vulcan engine? Yeah, Aston Martin Vulcan. Okay, we're not gonna use that. I like this the way it is. Uh, I'm gonna keep it rear wheel drive for the moment because makes it more fun. We got a little bit of front arrow, which is cool, I guess, if you like ruining your cars. You've got a big old rear wing if you actually wanna be a race car. Or you can remove the thing that actually makes this car look cool. Tires, uh, we are on street tires, actually. Okay, so we could actually get more grip by tossing on race tires. Or we could get snow tires, which is probably good for right now. But we'll do a bunch of races, so we'll go race tire compound, okay? We will bring those wheels out, make them a little bit more aggressive. Thank you, game. I'm just saying, I say it every week, cars which have offset stuff perfect awesome amazing i'm kind of going with the mentality that i want this thing to be a race car we could swap drift suspension on that ain't bad look how low that is too that looks really good after what happened yesterday i don't want to go sideways ever again in my life if you don't know what happened yesterday i don't want to talk about it with an air filter and an exhaust swapped in we're at the top of S1 class perfectly. I think we'll stay there. Thank you very much, game. So 730 horsepower, a little bit bump in power. The main thing, though, is we've now actually made this a super legera, 3,000 pounds. Remove nearly 1,000 pounds out of this thing. Tune applied. Let's just get a cool paint job. I don't know. Twitch chat, what color should we make this thing? Oh, the green ain't bad, yo. Maybe we'll come back. We'll mess around with it a little bit more. Okay, so let's leave that. We've got our carbon fiber, like, little inlays there. Those look sick. Carbon fiber wing mirrors already. Also sick. Black wheels. Black out those windows. Okay, you see why I like this car, but at the same time, you see why I don't like this car? It's impossible to not like a car that's this good looking. You, you can't beat that. Look at that. You know what I think this is for? Maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Because I think for me, and I think for the majority of people watching this, we would all say, oh yeah, which would you prefer? An Aston Martin DBS with four seats in it or a McLaren 720S? I feel like the majority of people watching this would all go, I'd have the McLaren. I think it's for old people. I'm sorry if you've just gone out and you bought an Aston Martin in your 20s, but you're now officially an old person. I, I think we've cracked the case, lads. Okay race time people are like this is a midlife crisis car and a car if you want to go and play golf with i don't know maybe it's just the name that's throwing me off yeah i think it might be the name that's throwing me off though it's like super legera for me means race car it's got the big aggressive grip like okay hold on hold on hold on hold on that's more of a normal that's actually a really good view you can see both of them. Road car, and one's more of a race car. Maybe it's just me who thinks like that. I don't know. It's strange. I just know if it was my money, I would go and buy a 720S, and if I wanted something like the Aston Martin, I would just go buy a Jag F-Type. It's way cheaper. I mean, it doesn't have 700 horsepower, but you don't really need 700 horsepower. It's, it's really hard to hate on a car that's this good looking and drives this well. That's the thing. Like, you can whip it around and it just goes, sure, no problem, got you. Especially with our weight reduction. We no longer have the understeery problem. Okay, I really want to catch up to the AI. Oh, Ferrari man, he doesn't know where he's going. Out of my way, plebe. Tomy, oh, hard on the brakes. I forgot about that corner. Oh, that's what I mean. Those little slides that let you slide out a little bit but won't kill you. With a Jaguar F-Type, you could say at parties, I drive a jog and have an excuse to never pay a restaurant bill and steal the restaurant's cutlery. It's true. With an Aston Martin, you don't get that same type of respect. Yo, I've lost my wing mirror. I've just got a little nub. I look like I've got Shrek's goddamn mirror on my right-hand side. I really gotta turn my damage back up. Send it! Send it! Bah! We're always so close to winning. But yet, so far, I will be honest, I'm not happy with that thing, that race. 
I want to go build one more car with this. I'm gonna do what I think this car could be if they really turned it up. Aston Martin Vulcan engine, all-wheel drive. How ridiculously quick can we make this car? This is now basically, I've stolen my grandpa's car keys and I've turned his Aston Martin into a race car. What could possibly go wrong? This thing's gonna be quick. I need another race to test my very red car. I'm aware it's not the best looking thing anymore. However, it should be a quick boy. Okay, Gabe, I put you on taking any car from the year 2010. Or like the 2010s. And you take a bunch of Focuses and Mustangs. Great. Anyways, under Steery Aston Martin. Let's see how you do. We haven't got a victory yet today. I think that's going to end very, very quickly with this thing. Already up to third and we're chasing down a Ford Transit. Correction, it is a Ford Transit with a... Uh, is that a Super Mario paint job? I'm trying to catch up, trying to catch up, trying to catch up. Uh, it was going too quick, couldn't see. Wait, and then... Yeah, it is a Super Mario paint job. There's a GTR. Wow, so all of that... Oh. Watch out. Yo, the transit's just overtaking a GTR for the lead. I've got a thousand horsepower. And this stupid transit's beating me. We can't lose to a transit. If the Ford Transit beats us, then I'm gonna say the um, Aston Martin isn't the fastest car in the game. How is the transit so OP? I guess on that bombshell, um, I, I guess the recommendation that we have to end this video with is don't buy an Aston Martin DBS. Don't even buy a McLaren 720S. Buy a Ford Transit. Oh, you know what else you should buy while you're buying your fancy cars? You should also buy the new merch, hottest merch in the game. Go get it, links down below. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this thing. It's a good looking car. I don't think it's for me though.